So let's go back to um, method of sections for trusses. Um, and just remember what we did for that one. What did we do? We, when we cut the members, when we cut the, the truss, uh, we, we kind of expose the force inside those members, right? So when we we're looking at method of sections, if we wanted to cut it here, when we cut it, we uh, erased the, the left half, right? Erased one half of it, and we exposed the forces in these members. And we said F, you know, G, E... FGC, the force in BC. Uh, but what we did is we cut the members, and when you cut it and throw away the other half, you have to replace the other half with what this half feels. And trusses were special members. They only felt a force along the direction of the member, right? They were all two force members. Um, so all of these forces were acting along those members that we cut. So, you know, they were either in compression or tension because all the members were, were two force members. So members that are two force members, their, you know, their forces lie along the direction of those members. All right. But, and so that is the internal force inside these members, right? For trusses, we were finding the internal forces inside those members. But for beams that are not two force members, right? These trusses, we were in luck. They were all two force members. But for beams that are not two force members, you know, for a more complicated beam, let's say, you know, that has a pin on one side, roller on one side, distributed loads, moments, whatever it has... If we were to cut it, right, if we were to cut it somewhere, then, you know, if this was just a truss, we would just place this one force right here. But this is more complicated. It's not a two-force member. It can feel three things at the cut, right? It can, we cut it, we expose these three things. We expose the N, right, the normal force. We expose the V, the shear force, and we expose the M, the bending moment. All right? So let's talk about that. N is the normal force. This is the force that is perpendicular to the cross section. Perpendicular to the cross section. Cross sectional area. And the normal force is either tension or compression. All right, we'll talk about whether we should make these positives or negatives. All right, but the N is a normal force, and it's the force perpendicular to the cut. The V is a shear force. Think about a shearing, right, scissors, one you know, face of the scissors go, goes past the other face of the scissor. Like, this is the shear force, S-H-E-A-R force. And this is the force, I'll say, on the cross-sectional area. This is the force on the cross-sectional area. All right, this V. I draw. I'm drawing it kind of off here, but it's really on here, uh, maybe pointed down or maybe pointed up uh, if we're looking at 2D beams. So V is the shear force. M is the internal bending moment. M is the moment that the cut feels. All right, so now that we've thrown away the right half of the beam, this is kind of what the right half of the beam does to the left half of the beam, or that's what the left half of the beam feels. It's almost like we are cutting this beam open and exposing its feelings. I don't know if you, if you want to think about it that. This is what it feels. So we wouldn't draw these on the whole free body diagram because they're internal. But once we cut it and open up, then we draw the N, V, and M, 
and we can solve for the n, v, and m. Uh, if, if we've already solved for everything on the left-hand side, then the n, v, and m are three unknowns, and we have three equations. That's kind of our process. <clears throat> and that's a process for a lot of these problems, isn't it? We could look at the whole free body diagram if, if we want to, if we need to. That's a good start, especially if you don't know where to start. Go ahead and sum the forces in x equals 0, sum the forces in y equals 0, sum the moments equals zero of the whole free body diagram. So I haven't cut it yet. I haven't drawn the N, V, and M yet. All right. But then cut it at your desired location where you want to calculate the internal loads. So cut it and only look at one half. And I say half, but this doesn't have to be equal parts. You know, you can cut it anywhere, but cut it and only look at one side, throw away the other side, and at the cut, draw the N, the normal force, out of the cut, the V, the shear force uh, along the cut, and the M is the bending moment. All right, we're going to draw these in the positive sign convention, which I'll talk about next page. It's important that we draw them. The N is going to be out of the cut. The V is going to be down. If we're looking at this side of it, the M is going to be... We'll, we'll talk about the... Um, Positive sign convention, next page. Uh, right, and then we can free body diagram just that section, right? Just that section. And we can sum the forces in x equals 0, sum the forces in y equals 0, sum the moments equals 0. All right? So then we can solve for n, v, and m. So let's talk about the positive sign convention. Positive sign convention is, is, is not left or right, because it's right if we're cutting it on this side, it's left if we're cutting it on that side. So how can we define positive N? Positive N is out of the cut. Positive N is out of the cut. All right. So always draw it out of the cut, and if your answer comes out positive, it was positive. If your answer comes out negative, then it is negative, and you will leave it negative. You will leave it negative, all right? Positive V is down if we're looking on this side of the cut, up if we're looking on that side of the cut. Uh, I think the textbook definition would, would say if it would cause clockwise rotation, then we're calling that positive shear. This seems backwards to what I, I might think uh, about it, uh, but... But this is positive sign convention. I always just memorize. I usually come. I usually kind of like to memorize coming from this side and cutting it right here. And my V is always down. N is always out. M is always that way. All right. Okay. And then finally, positive M is positive concave up. I think of a smiley face. Right. I think of a smiley face. Right. Smiley face. So. Here it would be counterclockwise, but this side it would be clockwise. So don't 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 say clockwise is positive or counterclockwise is positive. Say this smiley face. If it would bend your beam into a smiley face, right? If it would bend your beam into a smiley face, then that's a positive moment. Okay, it's important to use this positive sign convention and keep answer negative if it, if it comes out as negative, all right? Uh, but we use it for a few reasons uh, because one half is equal and opposite. Uh, what the other half feels. Right. One half is equal and opposite what the other half feels. <clears throat> right? If this one feels in that way, this one feels in that way. If this one feels this moment, the other half would have felt that moment. Right? These are one of them feels opposite what the other one feels. Uh, we do this so that we're all on the same page, so that when you say my N is positive, then I know what that means, right? When you say my shear is negative, 
I know what that means. And you don't have to explain it. You don't have to... Uh, I don't have to go back to your free body diagram or, or get, I don't have to, I don't have to see what you guessed, you know, negative shear means something. Negative shear is negative shear. Uh, and so kind of like I said, I don't have to refer, we don't have to refer back to the figure. And this makes it so we will get the same answers. So maybe we'll say that we'll get the same exact same answers no matter which half you looked at no matter which half you kept all right so you know you might cut it here and keep this side i might cut it here and keep this side we're both going to get the exact same you know n is negative this, you know, V is positive this, M is negative this. We'll get the exact same answers and leave your answer negative, all right? And so I added a page here, so maybe on some scratch paper or on some extra page. Let me just recap how I, and this is just me, the book might be different, other teachers might be different, this is just me, how I like you to um, do your positives and negatives. So for chapter five, right, like the reactions at pins and supports, reactions at pins and supports, uh, what did I want you to do if your answer uh, comes out negative? I wanted you to make it positive and redraw your free body diagram. Right? I wanted you to make it positive, redraw the free body diagram. But for trusses, if your answer comes out negative, and this is assuming that you had guessed tension was positive. I, I like you to make it positive and specify uh, that, that it was in compression. If you do like I do, I always guess tension. If so, if my answer comes out negative, then it was compression. And so I make it positive and specify compression. For frames and machines, which we just got finished with, for frames and machines, uh, if your answer comes out negative, uh, I ask you to make it positive and redraw your free body diagram. Okay. But, and I don't, I don't try to do this to be complicated, but for internal forces, we have the positive sign convention, and everybody uses that, and so if your answer comes out negative, well, first of all, draw in the positive sign convention to begin with, and if your answer comes out negative, leave it negative. Leave it negative. Because we're doing the positive sign convention, that tells me all the information I need to know. Right? That tells me all the information I need to know. If you say your N is negative 100 newtons, then that's it. Right? That's all the information I need to know. I don't have to go back and look at how you guessed the drawing. I don't have to go back and see whether you looked at the left side or the right side, you know. I, that is the final answer, and that's the final answer that everyone will get, no matter what they, you know, no ma if they're using the positive sign convention, then no matter which side they look at, that's what they're going to get. All right?